Hey there, welcome back to Play with Gaga. Today, we're going on an exciting journey to learn about the origins of our furry friends, the domestic dogs. We'll discover how they've evolved through a fascinating process called artificial selection. Are you ready to embark on this adventure? Let's get started. Do you know what the little chihuahua, the intelligent border collie, the feisty bull terrier, the playful Labrador or any other dog you can think of have in common? They all belong to a group called Canis Familiaris. For over 15,000 years, they've been friends with humans. And through lots of special choices, they've become the unique and awesome dogs we see today. Each dog breed is unique and they all share a common ancestor. But how did they become so diverse? That's what we're going to explore today. All right, let's break this down. Dogs were once wild animals, like wolves, but over thousands of years, humans have played a special role in shaping their characteristics. This process is called artificial selection. It's like choosing the best ingredients for a recipe, we select dogs with traits we like, and over generations. These traits become more pronounced. An example of this recipe was that, in the beginning, more docile wolves had a greater chance of being chosen to mate with each other, and produce puppies with the same nature, which would become good companions for our species. Guess what? A super cool study found out that the things humans like about dogs, like how they look and act, aren't just on the outside, it turns out. Those special qualities are also tucked away in the little puppy brains. Now, let's see this in action. I've got some dog friends to introduce you to. Meet Max, the pianist poodle, and Luna, the gourmet bulldog. Max and Luna have different characteristics, don't they? Max is known for his curly coat and elegant appearance. While Luna has a distinctive wrinkled face and a stout build. These traits were carefully selected by humans to create these breeds. But remember, it's not just about looks, it's about skills too. Take Border Collies, for example, they're great at herding. While Labrador and Golden Retrievers are amazing swimmers, all thanks to artificial selection. Isn't it incredible how humans have been able to mold? and shape dogs into all these different breeds with their unique talents. Did you know? Scientists found six special parts in a dog's brain that can be big or small, depending on the dog's type. For example, furry friends like golden retrievers, who help bird hunters, have brains that are different in parts that help them move, see, talk, and find their way around. Let me share something cool with you, Dogs like German Shepherd, who are like superhero police dogs, have super smart brains that are really good at seeing and smelling. Scientists also share something fascinating about our furry pals. The dogs they studied were everyday pets, just like the ones many of us have at home. But did you know? Dogs like guide dogs or sniffer dogs have brains specially crafted for their incredible jobs. It's like they're born ready for it. Maybe in the future, scientists will figure out how much of this cool stuff is built in from the start, and how much comes from their everyday adventures and training. Now, here's a question for you. What's your favorite dog breed? And why? That's a wrap for today. I hope you enjoyed learning about artificial selection and the origins of our furry friends. The domestic dogs, remember, humans and dogs have been partners for a long time, working together to create the incredible diversity of dog breeds we see today. Thank you for joining me on this adventure. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. So you never miss an exciting episode of Play with Gaga. 
Until next time. Keep exploring and learning. Bye, my little explorers.